good day to you, sir. My name is Brother Isaiah, and this is my associate, Brother Lucius. Hello. We represent the Clock Tower Society, and we were wondering if we could take just five minutes of your time to show you how we can help you to enjoy life eternal in the kingdom of the Mad King. Um, sir? Well, how rude. What's that noise? Well, that could go better. I'm telling you, Brother Lucius, I have a really good feeling about the day. If we can reach our quota of willing subjects to embrace our king, we'll be on to a winner. Explain to me why we're doing this again? <sighs> it's very simple. The more people we convert, the greater the reward we'll receive for bringing them into the fold, and the stronger the Mad King will become, so he can be free once again, and we can all bask in his glory. Yeah, I got that part, but this is King Thorn we're talking about, right? The Mad King? Yes, your point? The guy was a homicidal maniac, even us Char refused to go near him. Why on earth do we want to go and bring him back? Well, if last Halloween is anything to go by, he's going to come back whether we like it or not. Besides, I think he was a very much misunderstood individual. He just had some personality quirks, that's all. Personality quirks? Yes, that's right. He giggled while he talked to people. And he did it while wearing a dress. Really? I've not had that before. Well, I can't be certain on that last part, but I'm pretty sure he did. Those royals all do, you know, whether in public or hidden away. You made that up. Nah, it's true. I read it somewhere. It's on the list of royal things to do. One, royal kingdom. Two, get flunkies to do the hard work. Three, wear a dress. That's utter nonsense. Thor wore a dress? Adelburn wore a dress? No, he didn't. Did too. Even Queen Jenna wears a dress. <sighs> of course she wears a dress, you moron. She's a woman. Ah, uh, well, it got you rolled up. No, it didn't. You sure about that? Quite sure. Now, pay close attention to the candidate's reactions, as I explain the nature of our mission, as you will be taking the next one. Okay? Okay. Hello there. Is anyone home? 
Good day to you, madam. My name is Brother Isaiah, and this is my associate, Brother Lucius. <coughs> Lucius, what are you doing? Um, paying close attention to the calendar. No, what you're doing is scaring her. Come back here. I'm terribly sorry about that, madam. You just can't get the staff these days. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We represent the Clock Tower Society, and we were wondering if we could just take five minutes of your time to show you how we can help you to enjoy life eternal in the Kingdom of the Mad King. Oh, yes? No doubt by now you have seen many an upstanding cistern carrying the good book upon their back, yes? Ah! 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 It burns! It burns! Get it off me! Get it off me! Ah! Ah! You know, in retrospect, it probably wasn't the best idea to base ourselves bitch on books with such an obvious design flaw. Lucius? Yeah? Do you remember the first time we met? Yeah, sure. It was only two weeks ago. I was lying on a bench, waking up from a drunken stupor. You asked me where you were. And, as I recall, your reply took two hours. Yes, well I felt it my duty to bring you up to speed on your current dilemma. Yeah, well, I wasn't looking for a philosophical lecture on the meaning of life, you know. I just couldn't remember lying down on the bench. The last thing I recall before that was falling asleep in the bed of a female of, shall we say, negotiable affection. I see. You don't regret teaming up with me, do you? In pursuit of the mission, I mean. Hell no. Before we met, I didn't have a purpose in life. I will just go from place to place, getting drunk and shacking up wherever. And with whoever, apparently. Yes, thank you. I could find. You gave me that purpose. And for that, I will always be grateful. Ah, oh, thank you. Plus, you make me laugh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> don't mention it. You remember that time you signed up for that beta run of, what was it? Hawkmail. Hey, I stand by that technology. Hawkmail is the way forward, you'll see. It's three times faster than pigeon mail, plus you don't get guano in a clothes. It's the pinnacle of long distance communication. Okay, okay. How's it, um, how's it going, by the way? Well, it still has some issues to iron out. Oh, I can almost see those inverted commas. Define issues. You've got mail! <laughs> I mean, there are still one or two glitches to be resolved. Huh. So. This lady of negotiable affection that you mentioned. Yeah, what about her? Nice char, was she? Uh, human, actually. And yes, she was, as a matter of fact. Human? Is that legal? Is that even possible? Oh, sure it is. You'd be surprised. Some women love the touch of a soft... Don't say it. I was going to say poor. Oh. Come on. We need to get a move on if we want to meet our quota for the day, and we're already behind. Now remember, it's all in the presentation. Those first few seconds are the most critical, and don't forget to smile. You don't do that enough, and you know how people love a friendly face. Okay. You sure I'm ready for this? I don't feel ready yet. Nonsense. You just remember what I've told you. Remember to smile, be friendly, and you'll do fine. Okay. Okay, I can do this. <sighs> uh, good day to you, madam. My name is Brother Lucius, and this is my associate, Brother Isaiah. Hello. Uh, we represent the Clock Tower Society, and we were wondering if we could take a little of your time to show you how you can enjoy life eternal in the Kingdom of the Mad King. Very good, very good. Now, smile. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna have to work on that. I've been thinking... Oh, joy. You ever thought that maybe we were going about this the wrong way? How do you mean? Well the way we present ourselves and our mission. It's almost as if we're promoting a cult. But we're not a cult. Yeah, I know that. But what if we were? I'm not sure I follow you. Well, think about it. We promise eternal happiness to a select few. We provide no service or charitable benefit to anyone outside the organization, effectively creating an elite society. That sure sounds like a cult to me. And since Thorn seems to be making an appearance on Halloween, the people know it's about, which covers any quasi-religious fluff that may be required. Hmm. There is a disturbing logic to your argument. One would almost be forgiven by thinking you were a Flame Legion. You're not, are you? Huh. You could do a lot worse than being Flame Legion, believe me. Really? According to our records, you are owed 145 gold and 16 silver in back taxes. Yeah, I'm rich! Woo! Oh, wait, silly me, that's a typo. You owe the city 541 gold and 61 silver in back taxes. Oh, I'm broke. Payable immediately. 
failure to do so will result in your belongings being seized and any dwellings being burned to the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely worse things to be. And no, I'm not Flame Legion. So what do you think? Well, it's worth a try. You would need to create a convincing argument with potential recruits. Hmm, such as? Well, perhaps you could quote some lines or passages from books that no one has ever heard of. Possibly even throw in the name of an individual, like for example, Malachi the Wise. Why Malachi the Wise? I don't know, I just made this up. Oh, okay. The only issue I see is that we run the risk of going up against competing cults and organisations. Such as? Well, there's the Lunatic Court for one. Oh, yeah. It's their mandate to convert as many people as possible and find ways to give the Mad King strength and eventual freedom and so bask in his glory. Yeah, well that's pretty much our mandate. With one critical difference, my friend. Oh? What's that? We're the good guys. Oh right, of course. Because good guys siding with an insane monarch could never be construed as a bit dodgy. Right, you're up again for this one. Remember, convincing arguments that appeal to the general demographic. The demo what? <sighs> if it's another char, then use arguments that will appeal to char in general. And remember, males and females have different expectations. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Yes? Good day to you, sir. My name is Brother Lucius, and this is my associate, Brother Isaiah. Hi. We represent the Clock Tower Society, and we were wondering if we could take a moment of your time to show you how you could enjoy eternal life in the Kingdom of the Mad King. Sure thing. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, convincing argument. Appeal to the general demographic. Hmm. Human male. Hmm. Got it! Join our cult! We've got hookers! Oh my god. We've got hookers. That was your convincing argument? He signed up, didn't he? Yes. On the proviso that at some point in the not too distant future he is supplied with a rather generous helping of hookers. Don't knock it. Why not? He certainly will be. At least it's the result. Tell me, how many people have we managed to bring into the fold so far today? One. Uh huh. And which of the methods employed were successful in the acquisition of said person? <sighs> Yours. Exactly. Now all we have to do is solidify that acquisition. What do you mean? And why are we going this way? We're heading up to the crow's nest to solidify the acquisition. We're looking for hookers. Got it in one. Hey, Becky! Not seen you in a while. Not got off me, have you? You, my dear? Never. My wallet is just a little too empty at the moment. Oh, okay. You just let me know when you're looking for some special time. I sure will. You and an assurer. Don't knock it till you tried it. Well, apparently you already have. I mean, the size difference. How did she not, you know, break? Well, what can I say? Becky is very talented. And what happens in the event of, um, accidents? You mean, offspring? Well, yes. Can't happen, so I'm told. Apparently there's too much difference between the races for interracial offspring. Though, I did hear of a norm claiming some human ancestry, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. You know, you're a veritable thumb of knowledge, aren't you? Well, I've been around a bit. Yes, so you keep telling me. Not like that. I mean, I've travelled. Yes, I know what you mean. So are the affections of all the ladies here negotiable? Mm, yeah, mostly. So, what about that one? Oh no, you couldn't afford her services. She's a real professional. Oh really? <laughs> Not in that way. Let's just say she's a professional in humour. A uh, what? Well, you know how when a body's exhumed, it's dug out of the ground? Yes. Well, she was probably the one who put them there in the first place. Oh, you mean she's a hired blade? Oh yeah, a good one, so I hear. You don't want to cross her. What can I get you? I need to talk to Marcia. Who is asking? Let's just say it's a long-term customer who has a business proposition for her and the girls. You know, the more I realise that there is more to you than meets the eye, the less I wish to know. 
She'll be along shortly. While you wait, please take this drink of the house. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, we want a word with you. Who's asking? The Lunatic Court. <laughs> what? We are from the Lunatic Court. Well, prove it. You could be anybody. Yeah, prove it. You smell of the colour blue. Oh my god, yes, it really is then. It seems you have the audacity to summon us while moving in in our line of work. Summon? We never summoned you. You mentioned us by name. Oh god, I did, didn't I? You dare to summon us. You move in on our turn, and now you try to hide your potential recruits with hookers. Um. That's an excellent idea, by the way. We intend to employ that little trick just as soon as we finish with the two of you. Surely we can all be reasonable. Yeah, we'll be good from now on. We promise. Oh really? You seem to be on the first name terms with all these girls. I think the chances of you behaving yourself are highly unlikely. Everyone's a critic. Look, can't you just test us or something? Hmm. Now you come to mention it, I do have a riddle I've been dying to use. Very well. If you fail to answer correctly, we'll drop you from the highest point we can find with your pencil of jam. Okay. And if we succeed, you let us go? No, we just to get him out of jam. Oh. Well, why can't you just let us go if we pass your riddle? <sighs> Fine. It's not like you're going to succeed anyway. Way to go for the vote of confidence. Ask your riddle. Very well. <clears throat> I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What is it? Purple. Okay. That was a lucky guess. What? He was right. We can go? <sighs> yes, you can go. But be warned. We'll be keeping an eye on you from now on. And no more using hookers. Done. Come on, Lucius. Let's go. Oh, This means we'll lose our only recruit. Hello, my dear. Have you ever considered joining the Lunatic Court? Lunatic Court? Are you mad? Well, seeing how that could have gone, I think we got off lightly. Oh, you do, do you? Well, yeah. I think we've been very lucky. Lucky? How can you possibly say that? We failed yet again to meet our quota for the day. Our only recruit will leave us once the hookers fail to materialise. It transpires that my associate is pretty much supporting the local brothel business almost single-handedly. And to top it off, we've attracted the attention of the Lunatic- Don't say it! Oh, right. Well, then. Personally, I can't see how the day could possibly get any worse. You've got mail! Oh, crap. Head outside, okay? Why? Who's got a moose? <laughs> <laughs> Stray moose! <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a screen show of that, Tom. Yeah. But the back lot of chairs like to move in closer. That one day, though. Thank you. You should be aware, guys, I'm actually recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. This yeah. needs to be recorded. Yeah. In England we have badger baiting, in England we have the sugar baiting side of the channel. I do hope this is going to be in the bloopers. Yes, I'll, 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 put, I'll put this on the, on the end titles. <laughs> Blooper reel, yeah. yeah.